This is for um, Joseph, Miguel, and or Brian. Um, any specifics, either quirks or stories related to um, theatrical animation financing, um, so situations or quirks you want to add? Uh, yeah, I can jump into a few. Um, uh, one is the you know the production cycle is a lot longer, uh, so that creates a little bit more of a strain on your pre-sale environment. A traditional bank will be financing in a window of 14, 18, 24 months, and, and at least, uh, although it's changing, in, in a traditional animation model, you're looking at 36 months and beyond, so you're taking a, a, a bit of a, a role on that. Um, as a product category, because it takes longer and the setup times are longer, it's it's not as active a pre-sale market as the you know as the live uh, live theatrical would be. Um, it, that's changing. I think there, you know the, 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 there are certain macro forces that are making it easier, more accessible, bringing the cost down, uh, which I think has been the principal barrier to entry. Uh, but um, <clears throat> but but those are the the two that come to mind immediately. Miguel? From my perspective, I would say it is difficult uh, for a couple of reasons, right? Animation is very, very execution dependent, um, and you've got behemoths that are that are com you're competing with for that family, typically family market. It might not be, right, with this hot dog movie coming out that's more aimed for adults. <laughs> uh, but from our perspective as a sales agent, uh, the only way that I think we can do any kind of business is it's either you've got someone on the team that is leading the team that has a proven track record of executing on something that, that will be quality, or you have a short or a promo that is a snippet of exactly what you're gonna do from that same team, so that when you take it out to the market, they can see what it's gonna look like. That's the biggest fear in animation, that it's what it's gonna look like. There are a lot of territories that are very forgiving on animation too because it's so concept driven. So it really comes down to the price point. So if you're making a $50 million animation film and you're expecting 25 out of international, that's a long slog in regards to setting up the partners, having theatrical, making sure that they're, they're able to schedule it in way ahead and find partners in their territories. But if you're doing a movie where the shortfall for an international is one, two, three million dollars, there's com there are companies out there that are creating real value for that, and they're able to pre-sell it on an aggressive basis or sell it finished. I mean, I've, I, I'm not in it, so I don't know it, but I hear about it, and I'm looking at it. 